What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I feel like I have not said that specific sentence in a while, but for today's video, we're running it back to a 2023 edition. Today we have, ooh, what's in my camera bag? So in the beginning of 2023, I did, I think it was my first video of the year, I did a what's in my camera bag. And what's in my camera bag videos are literally like my favorite type of videos to watch because I love to see what everyone carries with them. People have drones, action cams, multiple cameras, multiple lenses. So it's like, it's just so interesting. So I was like, you know what? Let me do another one, but an updated what's in my camera bag for 2024. I know it's, we're in July now. We're gonna start off right here with the backpack. So the backpack is the Peter McKinnon an everyday camera backpack and i got this 2022 it is literally the best fucking camera that i've ever had i can't recommend this more to anybody because it's it's so sick it has space for your laptop in the back folds up to 16 inches you have these little side pockets that are magnetic also to minimize the space it's a pretty nice looking backpack it doesn't look so bulky and stuff i mean there's nothing really that hangs on here besides when i go on trips there's headphones hanging on here and then i have this little like clip also so this is where i hang stuff if I need it, but that's it from the backpack. The first compartment we'll show is literally the most basic one. I always have trouble pulling it out, especially at the airport because I have Velcro on it. <sighs> 16 inch macbook m2 pro chip not the pro max chip but the pro chip this i upgraded a year ago literally close to like a couple days ago is when it was like a year when i upgraded this is literally my workhorse this does everything i edit tiktoks i edit youtube videos i watch youtube i go on notion on here like everything that i can do that's camera related filmmaking related is done on this macbook this is a fucking beast okay i like that this is a top loader bag but it also has like a kind of flip out little screen screen in the back let's, let's let's show the flip out first this is basically what it does in these little bags right here i have extra batteries and this is also peter mckinnon i know when they're dead I, I put the little sticker on this also is a microfiber cloth i got it from b h in new york it's literally so sick i was like i don't need anything from the camera store in new york but I didn't need this it literally Cleans my lenses, cleans my laptop screen because it's so fucking dirty. So that lives in here. Um, this is a new addition. It's the little clamp that I kind of use to create different POVs of stuff. So that's in here. Roll of film for whenever I'm shooting with my film camera. In this part, it's always the same. It is my DJI, the Mini 3 Pro. So I just picked this up a year ago also. Comes with the little remote controller, three extra batteries. In here, I just keep my MacBook charger. And then we get to this top loader area. <laughs> Boom. In this area right here, carry some tape because you never know when you're gonna need tape. In this, I carry a bunch of Allen keys and just little stuff in this little Peak Design bag. Here is the part that like I love, right? So I have this little, it's a Peak Design camera accessory bag. That sits up the top. This is more for when like I travel because I have a lot of cables and a bunch of stuff that I kind of just use to travel. But when you open it up, it literally looks like this. I have multiple chargers, MacBook charger, iPhone chargers, USB-C to USB-C in case everybody ever, ever needs it. Some more chargers, some more film. This for my little action camera, my Go 3. And then obviously like chargers, Cube, GoPro batteries, uh, which is, I don't really use the GoPro anymore. Anyway, a hard drive, a SD card reader, my new SSD, which I work off of. This is the Samsung one. I have a pen in here that I haven't taken out. Headphones for when you need to monitor audio. These are very helpful but yeah everything lives in this little pouch and then we get to the actual part like i said this is a top loader but you can take out the inside of it rearrange however you want so let me just pull this out right here literally a cube so in here i have my film camera that i use um mainly on trips also the insta 360 go 2 i don't have to upgrade every single time we have the insta 360 go 3 this one i used it in new york i've used it a couple times after that i should have actually been using these now but i just will show you so these are my lav mics these are the uh dji mic twos that came out this year i believe and then the only other lens that i take that's not sitting on on here is the 50 millimeter sony so that one lives in here always in case you know b-roll shots and things of that nature so yeah if you look at my other camera bag video that was a year ago i kind of had so much stuff packed into it and then i realized that i didn't need a lot of stuff i'm more of a like minimalistic guy now so i try to declutter not take a bunch of unnecessary things anymore so it's more of just kind of simple things cables that i actually need this is probably gonna get out of here now since i don't really use my gopro but like stuff like this obviously i need on trips when i need to dump footage get it out of here get ready for the next day obviously cameras like this i use all the time my drone a lot of the times that i've taken my drone i haven't had a good luck because
because it's always been windy. I remember um, when we went to Florida, I was going to use it at the beach. Super windy. Couldn't do it. Arizona, I used it once in the intro clip. That was it. New York, I couldn't use it. Couldn't fly it. It kept giving me a message like, oh, I'm not authorized to do it at Central Park. And I was like, whatever, man. I'm not glad to do nothing crazy. It's a drone. But anyways, haven't used it there. But I am going to a trip in like two, three weeks, maybe. So we're going to, you guys are going to have to see. And hopefully I can use it there because I know it's a state that is very sunny. There's not a lot of wind. So let me not jinx that knock on wood that I'm able to use it there because I love this thing. The trials that I've put it through, the tests, everything masterpiece. I always have a tripod on me, but this goes in my luggage. So that's never really on my camera bag. The other thing also is the Manfrotto tripod that I'm currently using right now. So I'm not going to take it off. That lives in my camera bag too. It's usually sits on the side for when I need access to it. And then let me show you one more thing that I have. This is literally my favorite part of the backpack. So I put it on and I have these little, I guess you could say I love peak design because I do love peak design. Peak design, if you're watching this, sponsor me, man. You know, I've been looking into one of your other little backpacks. I love this backpack, but like I've been looking, I've been peeking, you know, what you guys have on the market. So I'm not gonna lie. But uh, I have these little Arca Swiss plates, sorry, Arca Swiss mounts, and I have a plate on my camera, and then I have an extra one in case I need, you know, a different POV. So this kind of just clips on there and like it doesn't move. So whenever I'm traveling and I have my backpack on, my camera literally sits here. I can sit something else here, maybe like another camera. GoPro, I've done, I've clipped the GoPro on there. Literally the little Arca Swiss plate lives on there and it's just boom, there's a little button on the side, quick release and it's out. Whoever invented this, at Peak Design needs, I'm not gonna say, I will not say. And then just like the last video, the one thing that doesn't live in my camera bag, but it lives in my pocket, still rocking the iPhone 14, Pro Max. I am looking to get the upgrade this year in September whenever the new one comes out. This one just kind of the battery is like runs so low throughout the day like I'm maybe five hours into the day and I'm already at like 30% and I don't use it a lot. I know batteries go bad. It's been two, three years now that it's you know released so an upgrade is due. That was the quick version of what's in my camera bag. You guys should comment down below. What is your favorite tech part that I carry in my camera bag that you saw in this video? Maybe comment down your YouTube channel if you came across this and you have a camera bag video too, because I love to watch these videos. So link me your channel. I will subscribe. I will go watch and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, peace.